Hello, welcome to the latest installment of Hashtag Ask Dogfish. I am in the shadow of our beautiful steampunk treehouse, and the first question I'm taking at Ask Dogfish is from our pal Steve Bollock. What are some of the improvements you want to make to the brew pub in downtown Rehoboth? So, as uh, some of you might know, uh, we submitted a plan to build, totally rebuild our, our original home, which is our brew pub, Dogfish Head Brewing and Eats in downtown Rehoboth. For a moment, a committee in Rehoboth uh, attempted to stop us from uh, doing this um, total rebuild, but we convinced them uh, that it was going to be awesome for Rehoboth, awesome for our co-workers, and awesome for Delaware. Uh, if you visit us in the summer, you'll see that we have a, a, a line out, at, uh, out our door and onto the sidewalk. By rebuilding uh, Rehoboth with an interior courtyard, uh, we're going to have a place where people can hang out, uh, wait for a seat, have a beer uh, while they're in the courtyard. Uh, we are going to uh, make it all ADA compliant. It's a super old building. We want to make it super safe and welcoming uh, for, for all, all folks of all, all stripes. Uh, it's going to have way, way better kitchen for my coworkers, modern, super modern kitchen, but also, most importantly, a kitchen with really good temperature controls. Here at the beach in the mid-Atlantic, when we're cooking over a wood grill, it can get up to 115, 120 degrees in our kitchen. And that's not awesome of us uh, when we think of what our, our coworkers that are in that room have to put up with in those months. So that's changing. This, this, oh, it's my good friend Greg Cook from Stone Brewery. That sometimes happens here. <laughs> uh, okay, do I keep talking or let me hold one sec. Also with uh, the Rehoboth Brew Pub, we're really trying to think about our neighbors. We're in downtown Rehoboth, but right behind us is a residential community. By building the Brew Pub as a U, um, the back of the Brew Pub acts as sort of a noise uh, and sort of smoke uh, barrier for our residential neighbors. So we're psyched uh, for that. And then just awesome new toys, you know, our, expand our little R&D brewery down there so there's more Brew Pub exclusives and trial batches for beers that go around the country, uh, expand our pimped out little R&D distillery uh, that we have in Rehoboth, uh, and expand our really great uh, live music program. Still only probably going to do live uh, original bands on Fridays and Saturdays, but in a much more beautiful stage area, more beautiful sound system. So really, really psyched uh, for our Rehoboth expansion. Thanks for asking. Next question is from... Tommy McElrath. Besides making craft beer, what else would you say craft breweries have a responsibility to do in their local communities? Um, first, com first commitment as a commercial craft brewery is making uh, world-class, well-differentiated, quality and consistent beer because that's what's going to get you to profitability uh, as a company and really captivate the excitement of uh, the growing cadre of, of craft beer lovers and, and consumers out there. Once you've done that and focus, focus, focus on that to start with is my advice. The second thing you got to do is with some fraction of your profits, give back to your local community. And obviously indie craft breweries do that every day in that the people that work there live in the community and the money they spend from their paycheck stays in the community. Uh, foreign owned uh, you know, international conglomerates can't really say that. The next thing you got to do when you're thinking about your profits is what do we care most about as a community of co-workers at Dogfish and we find um, relevant nonprofit groups to work with. In our tasting room here in Milton we choose not to uh, to keep the tips that come into that but we choose a different nonprofit every month a local nonprofit to give them to. Our largest nonprofit group that we work with at Dogfish is the Nature Conservancy because our missions are very much aligned. We're making our beer with all natural ingredients grown on agricultural grounds across the world. Nature Conservancy's, Conservancy's mission is to pr protect uh, open natural wild uh, spaces. So that one makes a lot of sense for us. So I think uh, every brewery should find whatever causes are dear to their heart, but the karma that comes with giving back to your community is at the heart of any successful business. This one's from Jim Halloran. Who is your favorite? favorite author. Um, I would say a couple few that come to mind for fiction would be like uh, um, J.D. Salinger, uh, Hemingway, uh, Fitzgerald, uh, David Foster Wallace. Uh, is that his name or is it David F Wallace Foster? I got it right the first time. 
Broom of the System, Infinite Jest. See, I wasn't making that shit up. I read that. Uh, then, uh, let's see, nonfiction. Beer authors. So my favorite beer authors of all time are Charlie, Charlie Papp, uh, founder of the Brewers Association and the AHA, Charlie Papazian. Wrote the book, Joy of Home Brewing. If you're just getting into beer, check it out. Uh, it's the Bible. And my favorite other beer writer would be Michael Jackson, dearly departed man who really was the patriarch of all uh, craft beer or flavor-forward beer uh, evangelism in the world of, of writing. That'd be my answer. All right, last one is from David El Nino Span. I think that's how you pronounce that. El Nino's a cool middle name. You should be a wrestler. Um, how are you? Uh, that's a good question. David, how are you? If you're out there watching this, I hope you're doing well. I'm, uh, I'm awesome. It's the 20th anniversary of Dogfish, which is pretty surreal. I can't believe uh, that we've been fortunate enough to do this and grow this company in the off-center direction that we set out to do when we were the smallest company in America, the smallest brewery in America. So I'm celebrating uh, our 20th anniversary with my, my, my wife, Mariah, and our 215 or so uh, co-workers here in coastal Delaware. Uh, um, my midlife crisis is uh, my tattoo that I just got, our dogfish logo, a sort of off-centered uh, rendition of that. Uh, warms my heart when I'm out in the marketplace and I see people with craft beer tattoos, dogfish tattoos specifically. I always feel like such a wuss bag when someone's like, dude, I got your entire logo on my back. And I'm like, thanks. And they're like, where's your stuff? I'm like, thanks. So I felt bad and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm putting my heart on my sleeve here. Uh, so I'm really, really proud to have added this to uh, my body and wear it on the outside the way I've worn it on the inside for 20 awesome years. So, you know, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's bought Dogfish Head beer sometime in the last 20 years. And I ask that you keep buying it uh, so that we can have another awesome celebration 20 years from now. From all my coworkers to you, thanks and high five.